Oh, yes, Rainbow Goddess Earth. You are um, my magic doll of rags and twisted wire that when I pray to you, I get cosmic power until my prayers decay into a succulent marsh of her lips. Freedom to suck like pure animals. <laughs> Into the mouth of this sky-sucking goddess, my balls pump out milk weighing spaceships. Sperming through the cosmos. In the morning, I cook oatmeal. because my freak friends are dropping by to review the freak, freak straight battle front. Because what? The Swami has declared himself absolutely free and burned his passport? <laughs> wow. He isolates himself from the rest of us hippies on the scene by erecting a crude bamboo World Freak Freedom Hut on a beach that none of us have been to. He, he walked a long way down there, got to Kuta Beach, and then he was gone in the sea mist to Legion. Nobody's ever heard of Legion. Well, in his temple, Swami Halusananda experiences a freedom vision. And, uh, you know, before Swami's exploration, none of us had been down to Legion. <laughs> After his vision, Swami Halusananda renounces hedonism. After, After he had his eight-year-old nephew bring 8,000 trips of sunshine acid over to Bali. He's doing the purest trip. Well, that's a new one for us. Uh, Rainbow reflects skeptically. Yeah, sure, Swami. Yeah, he stops taking acid. Why? Because he finally gave all of his 8,000 trips away. That's why. Well, one of Swami's chicks, Cheetah, she purrs. You should know, Rainbow, because the Swami says you're real tight where it goes. Oh, yeah, Swami's been fucking Rainbow. <clears throat> well, I've been humping the luscious teenage cheetah. <laughs> so sometimes at breakfast there's hints of sexual tension. Uh... I'm a diplomat, so I just, like, kind of smooth it over diplomatically with, uh, oh, yeah, everybody on the island is uh, tripping like crazy. I stir marijuana into the oat porridge and sprinkle crust, uh, crushed up some LSD taps, throw that into porridge too, into the succulent uh, papayas halves with a little lemon juice in there. What? The Swami does not recognize local authority of any kind or the government of Indonesia. Well, the police uh, freaked out. They throw his ass in the nearby Denpasar prison. I serve the LSD papayas. Mm -hmm. Well, all uh, that recaps the political situation for the morning, and we suppose Goddess Earth can slug it out for at least another day. And everybody splits to the beach to body surf and hit up on huge fruit salads, you know, strip naked, smoke some pot, go swimming. 
Why doesn't the whole world live like this? You know, really? You know? Um, yeah. I, 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 I don't go down to the beach. Why? Because I'm splitting Bar Bali tomorrow. After three months here, I'd have to pay off the same visa pigs who busted the Swami. So fuck them. You know, enough hypocrisy. Uh, polish up my gorgeous, expensive smuggler's briefcase. <laughs> this is this is the kind, this briefcase. Huh? Well, get out the uh, Kiwi leather polish. Polish that baby up because I'm headed to Singapore and <clears throat> they'd kill me if they found out what I got. Mm-hmm. Mm. Bali. Mm. Mm. Cast the enchantment of a seductive native woman. Equatorial visitors who whispers to you in bed. That she's got milk enough in her tits to milk you and feed you. Lust quenching tits just for you. Stick around in my compound. Got lots of hammocks. She reminds you of the rest of the world. Of the big city lights of Jakarta. Yeah. Singapore. Uh, the enchanting peasant strokes your prick and tells you what you really want until your eyes are wet and glassy and you've learned Balinese while lying in her hammer eating her passion fruit she spreads her legs over your mouth. Yeah. Um, and when you set down your novel to see the sun sink into the sea, you're an old man who sought shelter as a young guy in a pleasure bubble and the black grind of the cities and the black grind of space travel. Didn't touch you at all. 